Hello, I'm Wayne with Modular Hydro. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about how to put together your EcoFlow Cube ebb and flood system. First thing you want to do is remove all the parts from your box. Make sure you lay them out on the floor or on a table. Give yourself a good work area where you can put this thing together. It really only takes uh, five to ten minutes. I'm going to show you in probably five minutes or less on how to put the system together. You've got two containers. One is an 18 quart. The other one is a 12 quart. The first part we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to build the bottom of the system. The bottom of the system is your reservoir where it's going to hold your water and your nutrients. You're going to go ahead and take one of your bulkhead fittings, okay, and this is a neat little trick that works awesome and it also seals all your tubing in your system. Just take a little bit of Vaseline on a Q-tip and what you want to do is you want to lubricate the parts the first one, we're going to go ahead and take the bulkhead fitting. Now, this is going to be the pump line going to this to the pump. So we're going to go ahead and lubricate inside there. And we're also going to lubricate the inside of the hose. Okay. This is the 8-inch reduction hose. It has a reduction fitting that goes to the pump. So we're going to lubricate that. We're going to go ahead and put these two together, plug that in on the back side. Make sure that's in good and tight. Okay. Now we're going to install this inside of the reservoir. So just simply unscrew the fitting. Make sure you pull one of these washers off because one of them has to be on the outside and one rubber washer has to be on the inside. So we're going to place this in the bucket. We're going to push, push the washer back on. Screw on our fitting. Now you don't need to over tighten these, just snug them down real good, they're not going to leak. If they do leak, just tighten them a little more. But this is what it looks like inside the bucket. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install the pump. So we're going to do the same thing with the pump head, where the, where the uh, reduction line goes onto the pump. We're just going to lubricate that a little bit, not much. Because when you break the system down to clean it, it's going to make all your parts come, come apart a lot easier. We're going to take the blue line, plug that into the pump, and that's what that looks like, just like that. And then we're going to take this pump and we're going to set it on the bottom of the bucket. It's got little suction cups, so kind of, and it just sets on the bottom of the bucket like that. Then we're going to take our electrical line and we're just going to let that hang over the side of the bucket. Okay, now we're done with the bottom of the bucket. This is what it should look like. Very simple. Just took a couple minutes to do that. Now we're going to go ahead and build the top half of the system. This is the reservoir. This is an ebb and flood, true ebb and flood system. The water's going to pump from this reservoir on the bottom. It's going to go to the top and then it's going to drain back into the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our next fitting with the screen on it. We're going to unscrew that. Remember to take that washer off. Place that right here. Place the washer back on. And make sure you get these threaded correctly because you don't want to strip them. It should go on nice and easy. Just snug it down real good. It doesn't have to be super tight. Okay. Now we have what we call a riser with a screen. This is going to be your drain and your overflow. It's going to work together as a drain and an overflow. As you can see, there is a hole in the bottom of the reservoir. You're just going to simply take your fitting, your last bulkhead fitting, and we're going to place that inside. Now if you want, you can go ahead and, let's do this, I'm going to show you this. Let's go ahead and preset our, uh, our drain. We're just going to go ahead and pressure fit, fit that in there lightly. Just like that. And you're going to notice there's going to be one, two, there's going to be three parts. Depending on how high you want your flood rate to go, we're going to take the smallest one and pop that on first. This one's going to have a little tiny hole in it. You want to make sure that's the first one that goes into this bulkhead fitting. Just pressure fit that in there lightly press these two on, and now we're ready to go ahead and plug this into the system. So we're going to pop that in like that, turn this to the side, make sure you put that gasket on there, and then just screw that down and snug it up. Okay, that's it. This is the actual drain. You don't need to put a line or anything on this. You're just going to set that on top, and now here's what it looks like. Now the last part of the system is installing your fill hose. Alright, so the water's going to pump from the reservoir here. 
Water is going to flow up here and drain into the reservoir. So we're just going to pressure fit this on here. And that's where that Vaseline or petroleum jelly really works out. That'll give you a nice, nice, smooth, and also tight fit, waterproof fit. Plug the top in, and that's it. Your system is done. You're ready to grow. You're ready to fill the system with water and nutrients. Watch our video on how to do that. We have videos on how to do that, how to adjust your pH, how to add your nutrients, the proper way to add your nutrients, and more importantly, what you want to do when you're done is whatever grow media you decide to use, our preferred grow media, by the way, is grow stones. When you order the system online, there's a drop-down menu where you can order it with the grow stones. Just a few, few extra dollars to do that, and we include enough grow stones to completely fill this reservoir almost to the top. Any grow media that you use in here, make sure you rinse it thoroughly before you use it, okay? And you're ready to go. So you just want to fill your container with your nutrients and your water, adjust the pH properly, fill your uh, reservoir up top with either grow stones hydrogen, or whatever grow media you decide to use. We prefer using the grow stones, they're a lot lighter. Now also the system comes with what we call a drain kit. Okay, so we also have a video on that, how to drain your system. You do not need to remove the reservoir. It takes about three to four minutes to drain your system. It's very easy to do. It comes with the drain kit. Watch the video on how to do that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, but everything comes with the system that you're gonna need. Uh, it also comes with, with directions. If you're not going to view it online, it'll walk you through step by step on how to build this system. But in five to ten minutes, your system's ready to grow. Uh, I want to thank you very much. I'm Wayne with Modular Hydro. And remember, grow green, grow modular hydro. Thank you.